Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Shalom, Makim. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rachak, Wadash. I want to say, Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, who will. Peace and salutations to you, sincere. I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. I just want to do it to do a uh, quick video response uh, on a question somebody had that came up off the street and um, basically you know the guy was it was a young guy he was talking about um, he was asking us questions about the chip you know because uh, we had of course we had the big signs you know you had the signs that people inquire about stuff and uh, he was inquiring, well, you know, if, the, if that's the chip or whatever, you know, how, how uh, does it control you? And he was talking about, uh, basically, he was saying his mother got, got a chip. I think he said for psoriasis. He was saying his mother got a chip. And ever since she got the chip, she had talked about she had been hearing voices. Or something to that effect. And so, um, you know, brothers are trying to decide whether, you know, he misinterpreted the chip for like a different type of implant or maybe, you know, something else uh, medical. And we were trying to, you know, figure it out and interpret it. And, uh, you know, basically, man, because another thing he asked, you know, how does, if you get the chip in you, how does it control you? And we're all familiar with, you know, Revelation 13, you know, you're not going to be able to buy or to sell, you know, without the use of the chip, without the use of this uh, karagma, this thing that's inserted in you. You know, we kind of know that um, Esau has the technology where, you know, they can put these little small devices and they can link them up to... Uh, um, uh, uh, they, they, they can link them up using cell signals. You know, just like you got your phone, you got some people, they can use their phone as a credit card. You know, they can come in, you know, they can open up the app or whatever, open their account, and they can you can actually scan their phone. Like you have a coupon, you can actually scan the phone, and boom, it works the same way. All right, we know that Esau... As has a system that he's building up right now, all right. It, it includes, you know, it's called the Internet of All Things. You know, where basically everything is connected through, you know, whether it be Wi-Fi or whatever kind of signal that is connected through, all right. And that that signal is becoming stronger, just like Esau. This is this is this is his final hour. All right. So if you take this, if you take this and you put this in your body. You know, basically, you're going to be destroyed because, you know, one of the things uh, I noticed when I was looking up the topic, you have many different little implants, which they might not necessarily be used for buying or selling that people are getting just for the, the fuck of it. You know, just just like a like a dumb, a stupid ass tattoo or something. You know, it used to be thing used to be tattoos, it's kind of is now, but now the thing is getting these little implants. And, you know, you can open your car with it. You know, the sensor goes off. You can open up your, uh, uh, this guy, you know, he opened in, in the University of South Carolina here in the States. He opened up his dorm room with it. Um, and what happens is the chip, you know, the, the information might not all be on the chip, but it'll, it'll be like in a cloud somewhere. It'll be, okay, because that's another thing they have too quantum computers. They have all these, you know, giant ass computers with all these servers with all your information. You know, and they've been talking about basically all of the conversations that you have are saved on a server somewhere. So, you know, we don't we don't know how true that is because they don't give us access to that information. But we know the devil and we know we're not ignorant of his devices. Alright? And when this stuff happens too you know, because you still got a lot of Israelites who deny this. And it's the truth. This is something that was seen, you know, thousands of years ago when it was written about. All right, so this is Habakkuk 2 and 3. This is a, this is a pillar for the, for the faith, you know, for all those who believe in the scriptures.
For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry, tarry exactly. And it's the same with every other vision that's in this holy book. They're, they're all visions that are yet for an appointed time. You know, you try to use what's in front of you to piece it together. You know, and the scriptures talk about that. Uh, um, you're trying to, you're trying to see it. You're trying to, to understand it. You're trying to break it down. You know, and ultimately, <clears throat> ultimately, it has to be taught to you. But the Most High can send, you know, He can send you to understand. It. You know, and um, it's it's not a hard thing. Just like I had, a, I had, a, I had a, a card I was using. You know, and I was happy because it did not have the chip in it. And all the new cars got the chip, you know, the chip read is always broken and shit. But what ended up happening with my job, they stopped dealing with my bank. You know, they said, you got to choose another bank. So I had to go, you know, pick, pick this other bank, you know, that I had for backup. You know, they sent me a card. I, I, I crossed my fingers, you know, don't let it have that stupid chip in it because I don't even want you know, that shit around me, lo and behold, it's got the chip in. So now I got to deal with that. And now the card that I had that did not have the chip, you know, that's, that's going to eventually expire. You know, it was going to expire anyway, and they were going to put a chip in it, but and I was trying to hold out basically until the last moment. And that's exactly what this man does, man. They, 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 uh, uh, Gradually over time, they push you and force you into their system. Brothers talk about it all the time. All right, and this is uh, jumping back to the start of 2019, which the elder, which the elder apostle named the year of the Karagma. All right, and this is what it highlighted in uh, National Geographic: the future of medicine, how new technologies and ancient remedies are transforming healthcare, and that's something that we've been getting into all year. You know, ancient remedies, herbs. Brothers have been getting into that. And then you got the new technology, which Esau is pushing that is, that is uh, you know, so much greater than the old stuff because it has sensors in it. And so, hey, this man, it, it, it's, it's no coincidence, man. This man is watching us. He's been, he's been watching our activities. They've been monitoring us closely. You know, you get all kind of trolls and shit out of nowhere on your page. You know, here it is. You're not thinking about them, but they're, they're thinking about you. And they're trying very hard to disprove and to take away the validity of what, what you're saying. And, and, and it just doesn't work. All right, and this, is, this, was the, uh, this was actually on the cover. They were talking about this little chip has a, uh, a copy in it of, uh, you know, your DNA type or maybe the, the consistency of your organs or something just in case something happens to you. Well, that's going to become obsolete because they're going to put all that information on the computer. All right, you see how easy it was, was to control uh, um, health care under the Obama administration. Obama actually was fining people for not having uh, health care, you know, even if you didn't use it. So, you know, that's, that's, this is something that, that, that affects everybody who has a job, which most, Jake, you know, we're all, we're all uh, subject under this devil. All right, and um, you know this is the this is the the, the what is it called uh, uh, pre predictive program. It says she gave her body to science. This is the article in there too. She gave her body to science. Her corpse became immortal. You know because that's that's what that's one of the top things Esau loves, and that's ultimately what they're doing to. Uh, test this, this stuff out. They're putting these chips in these corpses, they're, put, they're, they're using them in, in different animals to experiment, to see, because the flesh does move around. Like uh, I think uh, the guy came to our camp, he asked the question, well, if you put it in you, can you take it out? You know, and I'm gonna just say the answer is no, because number one, your flesh moves around, and number two, once they put that chip in you and it's able to link up with your your, because uh, uh, your body has a signal too. Let me get into that. All right, your, your body has a signal and the spirit, you know, what we call the spirit, we know in the Latin it means breath. 
basically it's your, it's your nervous system and this chip will be able to hook up to your nervous system and, and you know you gotta in order for you to buy or sell you gotta have this in you and this is Ciroc 37 to 17 it says the continence is a sign of changing of the heart of course we know uh, uh, the heart is the mind and uh, it said that the continence is a sign of the changing of so the continence is a sign of the changing of the mind exactly and uh, you know all 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 uh, eighty percent of the way we communicate is through body language all right so you got this you got these different influences that are on your spirit you got these different things that are implanted in you that are that are Charging, because that's ultimately how it will work. It, it charges off your body's uh, British thermal units, you know, and uh, you're, you're basically your body has a, a, a certain electricity to it. You know, the scriptures talks about that too. The, the electricity, the fire that's in the body. Hey, and this chip would, would be charged off of that, and of course, it's going to change because if it's if it's uh, locked in on your signal. It's going to change you. It's going to change the way you think. It's going to change the way you do things. You, you know, these people are kind of basically become slaves. And that's ultimately why it's the mark of the beast. You know, Esau's the beast. His system, his system is the beast. And uh, <clears throat> this is ultimately why the U.S., they put a ban on these different phones uh, that China wanted to send over, these Huawei phones. Because ultimately, Esau knows, you know, the phones we have, all these, you know, Google versus Apple. They try to make it seem like, uh, you know, it's this huge competition, you know, Google versus, or Apple versus Android or whatever. When really they're working together, you know, all of the phones and technology, technological devices they have listening devices on them. They have two-way cameras. You know, they can they can pretty much access these cameras and access these devices to get information from them. So if China, a country who also already has their little, you know, social credit score set up, they already have cameras set up to, to scan people's faces. And, you know, Google has been working with their government to develop, um, you know, the social credit system. You know, basically, if they're able to send phones over here, they're going to have access to the same information, which is coming out now. You know, brothers have been talking about that for years, that they can, they can, they can, uh, they can use that to gain information about you. They can use that to steal information. They can, they can use the words that you say to send ads to your phone to sell you stuff, too. And people have been talking about that, how if they say something in front of the phone, you know, a couple of days later, it'll, it'll pop up as a pop-up. And this is ulti ultimately what it means to be a defender of the gospel. You know, this is ultimately what it means to be a shepherd for the people. All right, because the scriptures cover everything. They cover everything, you know, in, in life and in death. The scriptures carry all, all of that. That's why, you know, we're set up against these uh, different, uh, um, uh, yeah, damn, where it slips in my mind, these, um, not against men, but against, uh, the, the, these different, uh, fortresses of, uh, <clears throat> these different princip principalities, excuse me, it's a lot, these different, these different principalities, all right, because ultimately when this stuff rolls out, because these, these things, they're coming. You know, they're coming. They're in development now. Everything's in development to link up and to be, you know, linked up. You know, and it, the, the, the buzz is out there between, uh, you know, Elon Musk, Neuralink, and different other elites, different other people mentioning it. <clears throat> the buzz is out. And, uh, they, you know, up to this point, just like we... I showed you in the first clip, you know, the dude has a chip to open his, his uh, college dorm. And that stuff is slowly and, and quietly, you know, seeping into America. You know, people have that stuff. People have 
access to that technology already. They can put the chip in the dog. You know, a lot of these people are, are, are putting, you know, chips in their kid or they'll give their kid some kind of little tracking device or something. You know, that, 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 that stuff is becoming widespread. So ultimately, along with everything, because, you know, these, these people are willing to uh, false Christianity or, or, or Catholicism or something, they, hey, they, when they, when they want to answer to everything, the first place they run is to the church. All right, because that's who's going to have the answers. That's who's supposed to have the word of the Most High. That's who's supposed to have the answers for these different things that come out, you know, these different principles. And ultimately, those churches, they rule on, you know, and in many cases, they make the wrong ruling. All right, so us, the men of the Lord, man, we've been set up to, to, to lead, to bring out the scriptures. Hey, ultimately, the scriptures are going to guide you and tell you the right thing. And you're not, you're not supposed to take this. No matter, matter, no matter what, because you got a lot of people I've heard say, well, I'm going to take it, but we can just always take it out. That's not the case. That's not the case. Esau always has some sort of, uh, what's the word I want to use? They always have some sort of little backup plan. Always. There's no guarantee that once you put a chip in a, a certain spot, it's not going to move from that certain spot. There's no guarantee that you know, you're going to be able to carve into yourself and, and, you know, you'll have to do damage to yourself. You pretty much have to do surgery to get that thing out. <laughs> you know, no guarantee that, you know, the medical system who support this, why would they be willing to even do something like that? If, if, if this is, you know, what they're riding with. So, hey, it's just all a question of where your principles lie, where you stand. You know, brothers of Great Millstone, we stand with the scriptures at the end of the day. And this is just, just another principle, man. Another principle that has to be... Hi, Hi. this is, this is Dr. Bantam Meshwal. And uh, the scriptures are clear on that. You know, brothers have been clear on that. And it's coming. It's coming. The choice is coming. That choice is coming. And that, that this is ultimately what's going to gonna, gonna, gonna separate those with faith and those with, who don't have faith. All right, because another pe question people ask, how am I going to eat? If I can't buy or sell, what am I going to do? Well, hey, the Lord, hey, the, the Lord will, will uh, make a way for all his servants to eat. That's why it's important to serve him. You know, and that's not just an empty statement. You know, you might have to flee into the wilderness. You might have to go out into the woods or something. You might have somebody assisting you. It's, it's all kind of ways for you to eat, you know, that's going to be set up for you. If you're if you're a true servant, you know, and you trust and, and believe in your how watching that was shy. All right, and, and I'm gonna just play this, you know, to end it off. Cause this stuff is coming at full speed. These people, you know, you know how Esau is, they always got a a, a fix on the game. You know, they always get a, a, an advantage because, you know, they they, they want to preserve their empire. This is the ultimate way for them to do that. For them for everybody to link up. It's a good idea. So you, have something, so you have something else that's really interesting in um, the newsletter about people in Sweden implanting, uh, putting implants, microchips, right? Yes. Into them. We've seen something like this here. There's a. Um, So, and this is this is another way we know this man is a devil, because look who's into it. These are all Edomites. All of these people are Edomites. Hey, so call all your how why you how shy, and you take this chip, you're gonna be destroyed. You know, hey, pray for faith. Pray for the Lord to bless you, man. He's, he's blessed us and brought us this far out of these, uh, out, of, out of literal slave slavery conditions. You know, built us up, giving us the scriptures. You know, you got brothers worldwide. You got brothers in big cities, brothers in small cities. Hey, it's, 
There's nothing that the Most High cannot do. And we're, gonna, we're really going to start to see that more and more as he comes down and puts wrath on this devil. All right? Shalom.